Hello and welcome to Lauren's Travels. It is my day off. It is summertime, 90 degrees. So let's go do some fun indoor activities. And I'm starting with East End Market here in Winter Park. Weifu is the newest business to come here to the East End Market. They serve Japanese waffles and soft serve. Here's a quick look at the menu. I may have to get something because I just want to try these little mochis. But I, <laughs> this would be my breakfast, so I don't know. I may have to rethink. But they do have a uh, real strawberry milk here, and I think that's a good way to start off this morning. They also have this big communal garden here, which is right out front. So this is something you'll probably see if you're driving and parking here. Uh, keep in mind the parking is very limited. There's parking on both sides of the building, but you do want to get here early if you're coming in the morning. Domu is a very popular restaurant here. I've had their wings before. They're super good, but never been able to come here for dinner because it's always been so busy. So only uh, been able to order <laughs> and get food that way from Domi. So this is what my strawberry milk looks like. It has a bunch of strawberry at the bottom so you definitely need to give it a good shake. And I can't wait to try this but I need some more things first to, to go with it. Winter Park Biscuit Company is here so you can get some food from there. I think this place is new too, Skybird. Looks like they have plant-based meals here and all day breakfast. It's a very cute look. Looks like the neighbors is upstairs, but I think they're only open for afternoon times. Yeah, three to six, Sunday six to nine. Very cute uh, artwork though. So we got freehand goods. We've got the porch therapy, which has like plants and home decor and books. And of course Gideon's is here. I actually don't have a line this morning. That's funny. So I'm gonna first try this strawberry milk. And I love that it has like the, the pulp. I don't know if that's the right word for strawberry, but it's in there. All right, let's try it. Oof, I made a good decision with that strawberry milk. It's so good. The Wafu company, they started off as a food truck. So it's really cool that they have their own brick and mortar store here now. Um, I did get some Dochi donuts. This is the, I think, Caramel Twix one. And then there's also taro pebbles and churro. I love these because yes, they are sweet, but they are not like overpowering and they're like mochi. So they're kind of chewy. You can also eat it like a normal donut or rip it off for the little pieces. There's another donut place close by called the Salty and they're really good too, but more expensive, I feel like. Now that I got a little breakfast in, it's time for the next place. Let's go. I am now at Spiral Circle, which is my favorite crystal shop close to me. They have a really cool mystery vending machine right outside their door. So I'm gonna check out some crystals, but I also wanna get a few random things from the mystery machine and open them up back at home. I like little mystery surprise things like that. So let's go check it out. Here is the mystery machine. Oh, and they've got books wrapped up with tea. That's so cute. All right, first crystals and then some mystery things from this machine here. stuff. Um, I ordered some lunch so it's on the way. Like I said, it's just too hot and gross to do anything outside today. It's like in the high 90s so it's an indoor day for me. <laughs> but I just wanted to make a little vlog and kind of catch up with you guys because I am in the 
process of working on two large video projects. So one is the Halloween Horror Nights video and the other one is another theme park history type video, which I love to do, but they take so much time. So uh, this is gonna be a vlog kind of in between those projects here. All right, so of course uh, I went to the Spiral Circle. Um, I got two things that I knew uh, that I picked out and then there was also like a mystery pouch at the uh, checkout desk there. So I don't know what's in here, but I did get Labradorite heart. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's really pretty. There's some shine to it. It kind of looks gray and black upon first glance. And then when you look at it closer, there's some blue and gold and green in there. Um, so it's really pretty. I will show a close up of that here. And then I also got some Howlites. Um, I like this. It's very, it's, it's kind of basic. It's black and white, a little gray maybe instead of black, but I liked the properties for it. So that was my new crystal that I picked up today as well. Let's see what's in this mystery pouch. I think that it's a necklace because I hear a chain in there. Oh no, they put like the cleansing things in there. It almost looks like incense. Some Celestite, which is uh, properties of angel communication, access to higher dimensions, serenity, third eye and crown chakras, and intuition development. It's almost like a light blue, like a hazy blue color. And I got a few things from the vending machine. So the first thing I got was this blind date with a well-loved book. I love this idea. I am trying to read a lot this year. I'm close to 30 books right now, um, and we are in July. So maybe i'll get to 50. this says it was an investigation and murder mystery book that's good it gives me something to read at work and if i don't like it uh we have tons of little free libraries around here uh i may kind of want to do a little free library like scouting day um and a future vlog those are great because you can kind of just recycle the books that you're done with and maybe pick up something new while you're there and this is called firestorm this looks like a book that you would pick up at the grocery store, <laughs> but I'm not gonna knock it. I'll, I'll give it a go. And if I uh, don't like it, well, little free library it goes. And then this is a cute little bookmark that came with it and it's a white cat. So at least I have that going for me. I got a little uh, Vincent bookmark here <laughs> and it says, yo, next uh, bag is a mystery bag. I have no idea what is in this. It gave me no description on the vending machine. So let's see. The bee's knees. This is a puzzle box. Separate the two pieces and then put them back together. I've never heard of this. Uh, maybe I should try that at work when I'm bored. I'll bring that to work with me. Next is a bottle opening ace card. That's cool. This is, this is a cool gift. <laughs> this says, draw it out. The greater the storm, the brighter the rainbow. I'm guessing that this is the scratch paper that when you start to scratch it, you'll see rainbow. So that's fun. I definitely had a book like that when I was a kid. Oh my gosh, and this is cute. This is one of those like sequin things that you can like change the color of it by pushing up or down. And it's in the shape of cherries. Two more things in here, and this is the next one. <laughs> Come see. What is that? I'll go check it out. And the last thing in the mystery bag is Florida Native Wildflower Seed Blend. I feel like there's a lot of things uh, that I end up regifting from these mystery bags, uh, but I still think it's a fun process to open up and see all what's inside. And I wanted to show you all of my crystals I have so far. I kind of tried to put similar ones near each other, but yeah, this is my collection. I store it normally on this uh, heart-shaped tray that I got from Target with my cute little rose that I got from Megacon. And I like to keep it on my desk. I just did a good, a good clean over here so I can show you all of the crystals I have and also like minerals. They're all kind of mixed in there together. And now I'm going to enjoy my lunch, which should be here any second now, and play some video games and just hang out indoors and keep cool. <laughs>
I mean, that's a big uh, important thing for Floridians in the summer is to stay inside a lot because it's very hot. <laughs> If you guys have any questions about anything that you saw here in this video today, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe. I am trying still to get to 1,000 followers here on YouTube and it's proving difficult, but I'm very close on TikTok. So feel free to follow me on both platforms and I will see you next time on Lauren's Travels. Bye.